Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to the fiery card trick. It does require a friction pen. This is a pen with ink, which is removable with heat. So you can write something down. You can then get a heat source like a lighter and make that ink disappear. So to start out, you're going to write your prediction. In my case, I'm going to write the Ten of Clubs because the clubs is quite a big symbol. I can hide what I'm really going to write in there. And it doesn't matter if this looks a little bit scruffy. It's a good way of concealing the actual prediction inside. So we're going to do a ten. And yeah, don't worry about the sh shape of my club. I am not an artist. So you're going to do your ten of clubs or whatever. As long as you can hide the real prediction inside, you're then going to get yourself a normal same colour biro, a black biro, and I'm just going to do a J in the ten and a heart in there. Now that is pretty much concealed. You know it's there, so you can probably see it, but in the real world, no one's ever going to notice so that is your prediction set up ready make sure you got your lighter to hand and a deck now the force I used was just the countdown force but I used it in a slightly different way so I've got um, one two three four let's get my jack one two three four five six seven eight nine you're going to put your force card in the tenth position Got a few cards under it. So I've got my force card in the tenth position here. I've then got my jack of spades, my crimp jack of spades, which is going to sit on the top of that. This will all go on the bottom because at some point you're going to cut that packet to the top. So you're going to get your spectator. You want them to cut off between 10 and 20 cards. So I want you to cut about a third of the deck, say. So let's say they cut about this many. You can see that, you know there's enough there. While they're counting these cards, you're can, you can give this a fake shuffle if you want. But all you're gonna do is cut at your crimp and bring it to the top, put the cards aside. Spectator will be counting these. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now I'm going to write 15 down because I'm probably going to forget it. These can go on the bottom of the packet or you can get rid of these 15 cards, it does not matter. You're now going to deal down 15 cards. You're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And you know what, to mix this up a little bit more, we're going to do, deal the, the number of the two digits added together. So 1 and a 5 will be 6, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, four five this is your chosen card i want you to look at this card i won't look and it look it's the jack of hearts it will always be whatever card you put in the tenth position get your spectator to close this up put it all back together and then give it a shuffle now bearing in mind your spectator will not see this prediction you're going to take the cards back when they shuffled it and you're going to say i'm going to bring your card to the top so i want you to think about your card for me so what you do need to do now is find the Jack of Hearts and the Ten of Clubs. Now this is a great deck but it's not very easy to find in cards. You have to really have to open it up to see it. So we're looking for the Ten of Clubs. The Ten of Clubs, you want to place that on the top. You'll keep going through, maybe say no, hang on, it wasn't that card. Just to make an excuse for putting another card somewhere. So you're going to find the Jack of Hearts, wherever the Jack of Hearts is. And you're done so for the first time what you're going to do now is get a pinky pull down on that bottom card turn it into a thumb break you know what's going to happen now you're going to deposit this card in a minute you're going to split the deck and say right then this top card should hopefully be your ten of clubs as you turn this ten over you're going to deposit this jack on top of the ten so when you throw this card down they think this is the ten of clubs you can get rid of this now, put it aside. Now you're going to take out your prediction out of your wallet, out of your pocket, whatever, and say, oh, it wasn't the Ten of Clubs then, was it? Oh, bugger. 
Now all you want to do is peel this off. You can stick it on the card if you want, or you can not bother doing that because you will ruin the card. Just take this off, get your lighter. Right, hang on, let's just try something with some fire. Now we've got a jack of heart. So this can't be your jack of hearts, can it? So that is the trick, guys. It uses a friction pen, erasable ink with heat, and just the normal countdown force. You know when you ask a spectator to think of a number between 10 and 20. It was exactly that force, but I just did it in a slightly different way. So comment, subscribe, like, guys, and come back tomorrow for another card trick. And thank you, Joseph Racek, for the deck a while ago. Cheers.